cosmetic surgery or not cosmetic surgery? That is the question for the mature woman. Today, I'm spilling all the beans of what I've had done. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Cosmetic surgery, yes. That's a topic for today, and it can be a little bit of a hot topic, especially for mature women. And I don't want us to get divided into camps like, oh, I'll never have any procedure done on my face, or on the other hand, that we need to be chasing the fountain of youth and looking younger. But I do think that cosmetic surgery, just like any surgery, has a time and it has a place. And we have seen Wonderful things happen from plastic surgery if you've been in a serious accident, if you've had a very serious injury or damage to your face or other parts of your body. A plastic surgeon can truly do miracles, and that is pretty exciting. And I've seen people truly feel so much better about themselves when they have, you know, quote unquote, gone under the knife. And then we've also seen the cosmetic surgery go awry. So if you're not under the hands of a skilled surgeon, you may have something go terribly, terribly wrong. And that's a little disconcerting. And and honestly, I, I take that into consideration when I do think about surgery. And then there are also those people that they like what's being done, and then they go back for a little tweak here and a little tweak there. And we've all seen it. I bet you have a relative or a really dear friend and you see them just, you know, kind of start to go down this slippery slope and they don't even look like themselves anymore. So lots of lots of different opinions, but I'm really of the opinion. I'm very neutral on cosmetic procedures. I'm definitely if it's going to make you feel better, if it's going to make you feel more confident, then I think you should definitely explore it. So today I am sharing and many of you know, because I shared this over on Instagram this summer. So I recently had blepharo, no, I'm not even going to say it right, blepharoplasty surgery, blepharoplasty surgery. I know, right? That is a mouthful. And I didn't even know what that was this summer until I went to my eye doctor for my annual eye exam. And I'm going to just give a little plug for taking good care of your health, having those annual appointments dermatologist for me, eye doctor, your general GP, just to see how you're doing. So, so very, very important. So I've been going to the same optometrist for the past seven years. So I just went in for my regular checkup and, and, uh, and she looked at me and she's like, she's like, Beth, I see some noticeable changes in your eyes. And it was interesting because I had actually felt some changes in my eyes. I felt like I needed like, you know, toothpicks. And I remember my mom saying this, toothpicks to hold up my eyes so I could see better. And actually when I did open up my eyes like this, I really could see better. So <laughs> when she did a few exams, she recommended that I have another exam and that is called a field vision exam. So really what was being affected is my peripheral peripheral vision. So I went to the field vision exam and I failed miserably. So my left eye really was um, the, the culprit, but even my right eye didn't, didn't pass the test. And she explained what blepharoplasty is. And basically, I'm going to read from the Mayo Clinic because they're the experts on so many things. So I'm just going to read what they have to say. And then I'll share my journey with you. But according to the Mayo Clinic, blepharoplasty is a type of surgery that removes excess skin from the eyelids. With age, yes, lots of things come with age, eyelids stretch and the muscles supporting them weaken. As a result, excess skin and fat can gather above and below your eyes. This can cause sagging eyebrows, droopy upper lids, and bags under the eyes. Besides aging, severely sagging skin around the eyes can reduce side vision, the peripheral vision, and that's why I had to go have the field vision test, especially the upper and outer parts of the visual field. Blepharoplasty can reduce or get rid of these vision problems. The surgery can also make your eyes look more alert. I was recommended to a very, very competent plastic surgeon, and so when 
they book the appointment for me. So uh, in between my eye appointment and then in between my plastic surgeon appointment, I did a lot of research on eye surgery. And the first question you may have, because that was the first question that I had was, because when anything is that close to my brain, I think twice, maybe thrice about what I'm going to do. And I just wanted to know, I guess, all of the negative things that could go wrong. And things can go wrong. So first I could, and we've seen the plastic surgery where you look surprised the rest of your life. So I didn't, I didn't want that. I still wanted to look like myself. I'd also read that one of the things could be where they, uh, they do open your eye too far. And so you can't close your eyelid properly. So that was a, a concern of mine, a question of mine. Uh, but other than that, the reviews of eye surgery, eyelid surgery, is so overwhelmingly positive. I, I, was, I really came away from just the little research that I had done with a very good feeling that things would be going in a positive way. So I went to my plastic surgeon and he immediately took a look at what was the, you know, the situation. And the first thing that he said, because I really didn't have like a lot of excess skin. I have very fine features, you know, especially my face. And I didn't, I didn't have noticeable bags or noticeable droopiness. I just, my vision was just becoming impaired. So he just brought that up. Not a lot of skin there. So I was a little concerned about that, but he's like, he's like, I, you know, I've got you covered. He's like, don't worry about that. But I, he, he was very, very honest and very, very open. So he, we discussed that. And then we also discussed the fact that if we were going to do the upper, since I'm 64, he recommended that I do the lower as well, because both areas are aging at the same rate. And in his professional opinion, he felt that I would be so much happier if I did both at the same time. In for a penny, in for a pound. So we scheduled the surgery for August 29th because that's actually, I was very lucky that I could fit that in because I had some conferences and a, and a lot of things that were on my agenda. So August 29th, boom, I went in for surgery and boom, the next thing you know, I'm back home. So I will just share my progress with you and I have photos that will accompany it, but I will say this and the, and my plastic surgeon had also said this, it's, it's not a painful surgery. I mean, they will give you the, um, you know, the, the pain medicine for after surgery, but honestly, I never really felt any discomfort. You will feel some tightness because they are, you know, they are, you know, taking skin out and they're tightening things up but there really wasn't any pain. So several years ago, almost three years ago, I had my knee replaced and that surgery <laughs> was a doozy. And I can remember waking up from that the next day that I had it and then thinking, give, give me all the drugs and give them to me now. But I didn't feel that with eyelid surgery. It was just very manageable with just um, Tylenol. Uh, the next day, so here is the first photo so when I woke up, and of course the anesthesia is off, and I'm not groggy anymore, and I take the bandages off, and I looked at this photo, and I was like, okay, what did I just do? This is not a pretty sight. And I, and I have to admit, I was not expecting to look this bad. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I was thinking. I always, I guess in my mind, I'm just always kind of thinking like, oh, you know, I'll bounce back and like in a you know, in a day or two. And I can remember them telling me that I wouldn't be able to exercise for several weeks. And I was like, oh, right, I'll be, I'll be fine. And I'll be back in the gym probably that weekend. Well, they were right and I was wrong. And so if I can share any advice, it's just to take it easy when you are recovering from surgery, because when you do take care of yourself and you rest and you do all of those things, you will recover much more rapidly. So. But back to the first photo, so you can see a lot of swelling, closed eyes. I was really just kind of expecting that I would just, you know, be maybe a little bit more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But that's not the case. So don't worry if you are going to have this surgery. You will look like a train wreck, especially that the day after surgery, most likely for the first week or so. And again, I will share... I had upper and lower, and that makes a big, big difference. If you are doing one or the other, 
you're not going to look as drastic as I do in this photo. So, but since I did both, that's really why I, I look like I just got hit by a Mack truck. So, and I will just mention, so the upper stitches, they, it's like a very fine fishing line, honestly, that they um, stitch you with. Very, very, very fine. So, and those stitches, they actually remove a week post-surgery. And then the stitches underneath, so those are dissolvable stitches. So, and I actually had a little bit of a reaction to them. So I really didn't heal as quickly as I hoped because of that. So that kind of set me back. So stitches on both the upper and the lower. So that's day one. So then we're going to fast forward to the next photo. So this is one week post-surgery. Lots better. I'm still not able to wear any makeup. And honestly, you wouldn't want to wear makeup because you, you really are... As I said, it doesn't hurt, but you're going to be very, very tender. So once the stitches were out, I was actually very, very happy to, to have the uh, upper ones taken out. I was just a little nervous, especially towards the end that I was actually going to, you know, kind of knock it or pull it or, you know, do something that, that I shouldn't do. But I mean, honestly, um, I was totally fine. But once the stitches were out and you can see the swelling has gone down in this photo, you can also see it, it's not as drastic as it was, you know, the first day post-surgery, but I'm still very swollen here or more swollen than I, than I typically am. But at this point, I'm feeling much more confident that I am going to be looking back to normal and, you know, and back to my old self, but a, a more alert, a more perky self. So... The next week, so this is two weeks post-surgery, and you can really start to see a very marked difference. So this is when my dissolvable stitches are really starting to dissolve. They're not quite gone yet. That actually took a little bit longer than I expected. So, but again, I had a reaction to them, so that also could be um, what happened. And when I went in for my follow-up visit with my plastic surgeon, you know, I mean, he even mentioned, he's like, yes, you're, you know, you're looking a little bit rougher than I, than I would like. But he also explained too, that they used to use these certain sutures for the dissolvable stitches and they no longer made them. I'm not sure why he told me that. Cause I was like, you know, darn, they used to have like some amazing stitches and then just all of a sudden they didn't make those anymore but but anyway that's neither here nor there you may have a reaction like i did you may not it did slow my progress down but we're going to fast forward to a month post surgery and then we'll even you know take some close ups of what i look today and honestly i went off to a conference a month post surgery no one knew that i mean of course you know no one no one knows, but in my industry, a lot of people know a lot of things. But to to just take a look at me when I was traveling in the airport, if you didn't know me, you would have no idea that I'd had eye surgery three, four weeks prior. So, and I'm feeling really good, really excited. I can honestly, I noticed right away that my vision was just so much better, and that's why I had the blepharoplasty surgery to begin with. Really, the end result, I have to say, this is a surgery that many, many people elect to have just all on their own. Honestly, the only difference between the surgery that I had and people that elect to have it is my insurance company will pick it up, and the elective is then the cost is all on your own. But Blepharoplasty surgery is honestly one of those surgeries where it's like, I think I read it has like a 88% or maybe even higher satisfaction rate. So that says something about it. And we know so many of us, so many women, you know, we have bags under our eyes and, and we do have saggy, droopy skin. That is a side effect of aging. So I'm talking about beauty, skincare, cosmetic surgery, and of course, style. Hit the subscription box and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos coming your way. If you are wondering what my thoughts are about blepharoplasty surgery, I say I am so happy that I had mine done. Highly recommend it. You're only going to be down and out maybe two weeks maximum, and then the recovery is just so speedy after that. So 
that's the cosmetic surgery that I've had. I have had eyelid surgery, blepharoplasty surgery. Again, I recommend it. And also, um, since we're talking about cosmetic procedures, I know a lot of you think that, you know, that, or you're guessing that I've had this done or I've had that done. Honestly, I'm a pretty big chicken when it comes to doing things, especially with my face. And especially now that this is, you know, this is my job to step in front of a video camera or a regular camera for photos. So I, I do, I, I think very long and hard about things, but what I have had done, and I also would highly recommend that this. So I have had IPL laser surgery. So I had a series of those. I started those two years ago. So those are for all the brown spots, the aging spots. And I have very fair skin, baked myself in the sun for years when I was a teenager, like all of us. So I have some significant sun damage. And the IPL, honestly, I was very, very pleased with the results from that. And I also had the microneedling session. So I had six of those. And the three were just, the first three were just regular microneedling. And then the last three were the radio frequency microneedling. And honestly, those two procedures really made a difference in my skin texture, in my skin tone. And I totally recommend microneedling because that really starts to help your collagen production. And that's truly what is key in keeping our skin very elastic and plump and firm. So those are. Those are all the procedures that I've had. As I said, I'm, I'm a little bit of a chicken. I know. I mean, you know, I can see it. I can see aging. I can see, you know, the marionette lines coming here. I have the 11s here because, you know, raising three boys, you know, sometimes it was like, ah, like that. So I can see the effects of aging. But overall, I am very happy with still being here at 64. I believe in good skincare. I believe in supplements. I believe in a healthy diet. All those things to help me be healthy, you know, keep my skin looking vibrant and plump, as I said. That's why I'm a big fan of the microneedling. But that's it. That's what I've had. But I know that many of you tuned in because you we're aware that I had blepharoplasty surgeries. I hope that you walk away with a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more understanding of what the procedure is all about, how it truly helped me in my vision, how it perhaps can help you in your vision, or just a little, you know, freshening up with the bags and um, the, the saggy eyelids. And of course, leave a comment down below. If you have a question, I'm happy to answer it. I perhaps didn't cover absolutely everything today. So feel free to, as I said, leave a comment down below or you can DM me over on my Instagram account and I'm happy to answer anything that you throw my way. And many of you may have questions about scarring or the after effects. So on the upper eyelid, so there is a very thin, I mean, I have makeup on today, but there's a very thin scar right here that will get better over time but when my eyes are up the genius about eye surgery eyelid surgery is that the scar is really hidden you really can't see anything when your eyelids are up so that's pretty cool and then down below so that's really where i had the most or it took me longer to recover and i still think there's just a little bit of swelling on the side and i can still feel a little bit of tightness but you can't see those scars at all and that's because they do use the dissolvable ones. They just really go along your lash line. And so, ta-da! Really, pretty amazing results when you have a very skilled plastic surgeon as I did. So I hope you took away some valuable information. I think information really is key, especially when we are researching cosmetic surgery, eye surgery, knee surgery, whatever the case may be for you. So thanks so much for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Of course, leave a comment down below. And I'll